unplug the refrigerator from the wall outlet or throw the breaker supplying power to the unit. Turning the control knob to the zero or off position does not remove main power to the unit. For quick install models, remove the cover to access the fill tube. Then, start the two mounting screws into the provided openings on the left side of the freezer compartment. Only start about a fourth of the way to allow enough screw height to slide the ice maker into position. Remove the safety cover to access the harness connector. Snap the harness on the ice maker into the connector. Make sure the two locking tabs seat and secure the harness connection. Take the ice maker and position the fill tube inside the fill tray. Align the two tabs over the mounting screws and position screws through the openings on the bracket. Slide the ice maker downward and lock the ice maker into place. Then complete securing the two mounting screws. Do not over tighten. Make sure the fill tube is properly seated into the fill cup and that the ice maker is level to promote proper water fill and ice production. If not properly level, you can have water overflow or minimal to no ice production. Flip the switch on the ice maker to the on position. Connect the water supply line from the home to the water valve located on the back of the refrigerator. Check for any leaks at hose connections and inside the freezer compartment. If no leaks are present, turn the power to the refrigerator back on. On non-quick install models, you'll need to install the solenoid valve and water supply line to the refrigerator. The steps for installing the ice maker and fill tube within the freezer compartment, however, are the same as previously described. Remove the plug button in the rear freezer panel to access the fill tube port. Remove the two access cover screws as shown in order to access the water valve location. Peel and remove the label covering the fill tube port located in the upper right corner of the case back. Peel and remove all of the cover on the adhesive trim on the fill tube grommet. Install the fill tube into the port until it firmly seats into position. Locate the cabinet harness behind the access cover. Position the harness connector onto the water valve as shown. Position the water valve to align the bracket with the case and secure with the mounting screw. Next, position and stick the clip supports into the case back and snap the tube into each clip. You can now connect the main water supply from the home to the water valve on the refrigerator. Using a pair of pliers, open the lock spring and slide it over the end of the fill tube. Slide the tube into the water fill port until it stops. 